everyone this is Sandra thanks for stopping by to watch the video I'm gonna be doing a bottom cup which is actually a bottom of a pop bottle I think it's a reverse dip is the technical term for it I've drilled four holes at the bottom to make the center a little more defined I'm hoping so I'm gonna give this a whirl this is a 10 by or sorry a 20 by 20 canvas it's one of the biggest ones I've done for doing this reverse dip fingers crossed it works for those of you just joining me thank you so much for visiting my channel and please hit subscribe it's free to do doesn't cost anything and means the world to me and right beside the subscribe button is a bell if you hit the bell you'll be notified every time I upload a new video but again subscribing is free to do and means the world to me everybody that keeps coming back to watch thank you so much you're awesome. Alrighty, let's start this painting. I've got white acrylic already on my canvas. I'm just going to give it a quick torch to get some of the bubbles out. Because again, this is a 20 by 20 canvas. It's a large area. And I just mixed up my white, so give me a second here. Alrighty. So the colors I'm going to be do is a little bit more of a green, turquoise, a little bit of aquamarine I'm going to do and a little bit of my magenta pink as well. So what I'm going to do is put my bottom of my pop bottle right in the center here, roughly. There we go. And I'm just going to start pouring colors on. Now the center I want it to be a little bit more of the pink. So that's what I'm going to start with just in this section right here where I have those holes. And I'm going to add a little bit of white in there as well, just to get it started for the center. Okay, so now I'm going to start doing, I think I'm going to start with my ultramarine first. And I'm not going to be cheap on the paint because this is a large canvas to fill. And I've also got a new color, it's called Aqua Green. I'm gonna give that a try. I just mixed this one up too. And hopefully this is just a very colorful painting. Then I'm gonna do my deep turquoise. And I'm gonna add a little bit more white. And my metallic, whoops, drop the cap in. Always keeping it real around here. Hold on one sec while I get a little piece of dry paint out of here. There we go. My peacock pearl metallic. That's going down next. Okay, then I'm gonna go back to my ultramarine. And my aqua green. I'm gonna do a little bit more white. Then my deep turquoise. I'm gonna add a little bit of magenta in there now. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit more white. And my peacock metallic. Back to aquamarine. And my aqua green. A little bit more white. Oop, my deep turquoise almost forgot. And 
I have some white here with a little bit of silicone in it. So I'm going to add that next before I put my peacock metallic down. And I'm going to end it with the ultramarine. Oh, I think it needs a little bit more pink. Let's do some magenta too. What the heck? Okay, let's see how that's looking for color. I'm just gonna put my caps back on so I don't spill as I'm doing this. Okay. That looks like a pretty good amount of paint. Just gonna let it sit again for a minute. And then what I'm going to do is pull this bottle off. I'm just going to draw a couple of lines in the design we already have. And then I'm going to put my plastic down. And then we're all going to hold our breath until I pull the plastic up. And I'm hoping it's going to be a beautiful flower. If nothing else, it's going to be beautiful colors. It'll be abstract for sure. Alright, it doesn't look like it's dripping much now. I'm going to pull this guy straight up and put it on my table. Okay, that looks really cool in the center. Okay, let me give it a quick torch first. Okay, bubbles are out. We'll see if any of that silicone I had in the white it does any kind of effect here and then I'm just going to take my comb and draw some lines through which I think I'm going to go right from the center ish yeah I'm going to go straight out Okay, I think I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now the test to see if this is going to work. I'm just going to put my bottle aside for a second here. Okay. So I just have a dollar store tablecloth that I've cut up to fit the 20 by 20 canvas. And it's just going to go down over my beautiful painting. Pull it a little bit, sorry. Okay. And now I'm just going to press lightly. Lots of paint on this canvas. try and move some of the paint because I can feel it just puddling here in the center and I don't really want a huge puddle. Okay, I'm going to pull it up and hope for the best here. Just making sure I got lots of paint covered here. This is a big area of a canvas to work on. Okay, 
Let's see what happens. I'm going to go corner to corner first. Lifting it slowly. Then I'm going to take this corner. And this corner. And just keep slowly pulling it up. I think I'm going to give it a little twirl and drop. There we go. Grab my napkin. I'm definitely giving this guy a torch. Beautiful colors in there. Hopefully you can see what I see because this is gorgeous. I wouldn't necessarily call it a flower, but it's definitely a beautiful abstract. I love how this swirl happened here too. I'm wondering if I should do something in here with maybe a balloon or something. I'm not sure. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it with the bottle of the pop bottle bottom of the pop bottle. Hold on one sec. I'm going to grab this and see. Grab my napkin. See what kind of effect we got here. Spin it. Spin it. That looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of spins in here because that worked really well. Let it flow back together. <clears throat> that looks really cool. Okay. So I'm just going to help it a little bit with this by swirling into the center a little bit. I'm going to do the outer area. Very cool. Okay, let me give it a torch. Now, I'm not going to lift this because it's going to make a mess and I'm going to ruin my painting. But I'll definitely do a picture and put it as a thumbnail once it dries a little bit. Turned out awesome. I'm very happy with it. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you give this a whirl. Pour painting is so much fun to do. Anybody can do it. You don't have to be a professional artist to make your own creations and enjoy so much of this in the evenings after work so relaxing i love it again thanks for joining me remember please hit subscribe it doesn't cost anything and we'll see you on the next video thanks